very welcome everyone to Boeing 737 Hub. Uh, first of all, I would really like to thank you for reaching up to 41 subscribers. I know that's not a lot, uh, but it really does help the channel to grow. Uh, today's video covers the landing gear system of the Boeing 737. So the airplane has two main landing gear and one single nose gear, and each one of them is a set of two wheels. Hydraulic system may pressure is used for the landing gear retraction, the extension and the nose wheel steering on the ground. During normal operations, there is a manual landing gear extension and an alternate nose wheel steering. Uh, the nose wheel steering wheel and the rudder pedals are both used to steer the airplane on the ground. The only difference being that the nose wheel steering wheel turns the nose wheel 78 degrees either side and overrides the rudder inputs, whereas the rudders uh, they just turn the nose wheel only 7 degrees either side. So the landing gear is controlled with the landing gear lever which it has a 3 position the up, the off and the down position. When the airplane is on the ground there is a lever lock that prevents it from being moved to the up position. However, there is an override trigger depicted in red uh, to bypass that lock during non-normal operation. When the lever is positioned to the up position, uh, the gear starts retracting and the brakes automatically stop the main gear wheels. And once the retraction is complete, the gear is held up with the mechanical uplocks. The nose wheel retracts forwards uh, and not sideways or backwards. And its rotation is stopped by snobbers and not the brakes, and you can see it here in a minute. So in the case of tie bus during the takeoff, obviously apart from the braking issue, what you would want to do is avoid damaging other components within the wheel well. Therefore, Boeing designed this uh, wheel well fitting, which you can see again depicted in red, and that prevents the gear from uh, being retracted in case of a tire bust and damaging other components. So that will make the gear fall back out again, and the landing gear cannot be retracted until the fitting is replaced. If the hydraulic system A is lost for any reason, uh, there is also an alternative way of extending the gear and that's using the manual landing gear extension. And what it does is it releasing the outplots holding the gear, allowing it to free fall by gravity in the down and locked position. That's all for today's video, I do truly hope you have enjoyed it and stay tuned for more. Until then, take care of yourself.